So guys, I am back with another Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 video and today guys, I'm going to showcase to you an amazing working AFK XP farm. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leave a like, it really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so Modern Warfare 2 just had a massive update. Uh, the version of the game we are on right now is 1.0.8.0. This still works post this update so it's still working as of right now and what this will do is guys it will earn you tons and tons of xp via you being afk meaning you can put your controller down walk away for an hour come back and you'll more or less max out certain weapons okay so how this works is and it's relatively straightforward you can do this solo or you can do this with your friend it doesn't matter so it takes place within the cooperative mission of defender mount zaya now if you plan on doing this solo uh when you actually load this up it's going to actually match make you with another player now it won't work if obviously the other players play in the mission so you need to get them to back out. You can do this one of a few ways. You can ask them nicely, which is what I suggest you do if you plan on doing this solo, or you can annoy them by keep restarting the mission. I wouldn't do that, it's pretty scumbaggy, but hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. Me personally, I'd just say get a friend to help you. They can use this exploit at the same time as you, or if they don't wanna do it, they can just back out and leave you solo inside the mission. So it's Defender, Mount Zaya, and load this bad boy up. Okay, so once you've skipped the actual videos, you enter into a room. Here, you can pick any of these weapons up or wait for the wall of weapons. So once you get past this room and everyone's skipped all those videos, you'll be in that helicopter. Now, eventually you will land. And basically the glitch works from here. Now, like I said, if you plan on doing this solo, this is where that other player needs to leave. So do what you gotta do in making them leave. If you're in a team, you and your friend, this is what you gotta do come up to that wall, the wall of weapons. That's if you didn't select a weapon from the previous room. Then look around, whatever weapon here you wanna level up and earn the XP on, pick it up. I'd recommend RPG, it's probably the hardest to actually run around in, in uh, multiplayer and actually level it up, so the RPG works absolute wonders. So pick it up. Once you've got that weapon in your hand, do not switch weapons. Remember that, do not switch weapons. Hold it out in your hand, and you are good. So grab your weapons guys, then what you wanna do is follow me. So walk away from this area, go up this rope, walk around this platform and just slide here or stand here. Now it's recommended uh, about an hour, an hour and 10 minutes will earn you around 30K XP. I did this for about 15 minutes and I think I got 7K XP. I probably did it a little longer, I can't really remember. But yeah, you will earn a ton of XP for doing this. Now, I know people will say, well, why don't you just play the game normally? You will earn XP um, that way, which is obviously true, but that isn't the point of an AFK farm. This is an AFK farm. This means you can put your controller down, your keyboard and mouse down, and go to the gym. You can go to work, you can go to school, come back, and you've earned a ton of XP. Another thing I will say is, if you are doing this on a controller, make sure your controller is plugged in so it doesn't die. Another tip I would say is as well, guys, is obviously lean your controller up some so the analogs constantly making you spin or you can use the old uh, elastic band trick just in case you will get booted because i have seen a few people say after about 25 minutes of being afk they have been booted which is a weird one for me i didn't think you did get booted but yeah hey just in case you gotta take precautions here but again plug your controller in if you do plan on using this because if it does die it can break this glitch now something else I did come across on an actual post was some people saying that they did this for over an hour and didn't get any XP whatsoever. Now from my understanding what I've learned is, it isn't something I can test but I'm pretty sure it, it's the way it is considering the feedback it got. This Defender mission I'm pretty sure it limits how much XP you can earn per day. And once you get your first 3 star of the day, XP completely stops according to some people. I've heard suffering from no XP from using this glitch. So if you've already got a free star on this cooperative mission, it may completely stop XP for you, but you can try that out and let everybody else uh, know down below in the comments section. But yeah, guys, like I said, do this for over an hour for 30K plus XP, more or less maxing out those weapons. 
and then when you are ready guys all you then have to do is kill yourself so with that rocket launcher in your hand shoot the floor or you can use a grenade blow yourself up it doesn't matter but once you've died guys you then just have to leave the mission once you've left the mission you'll see the xp pop up on your screen and it really is guys as simple as that rinse repeat level up all these weapons on offer within this defender mission and you are good to go again guys this is meant for afk afk farming there's no doubt you'll earn more xp if you're good at the game playing as usual but there we have you guys guys if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys i will see you on that next one